Getting right into today's video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am starting strong here, showing you guys the new profiles backstage e-file. When I tell you guys I saw this thing at Premiere Orlando and I guessed, because if y'all didn't know, black is my color and I absolutely adore anything that just looks so sleek and black and matte and it's just beautiful. So I got really, really excited and yes, I have been holding on to this since Premiere Orlando, which was in June, which is honestly quite sad, but I found it in my stash of products and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect moment to show it off. So I'll go into a little bit more detail on the product a little bit later on, but I am in fact doing my toes. I give you guys a little nice snippet of what we're working with. I purposefully did not trim my toenails for this video. And I would like to quickly apologize for all of y'all that are not feet peoples like me because I know I cringe the whole time that I have to do these videos, but I know that it is very educational and I'd rather just sacrifice a little to educate y'all and share with you guys my process and pretty much how I do my own toes. Hopefully it kind of helps y'all if you are wanting to do your toes as well. So if you're watching this video, a huge shout out to you. Thank you for watching. But I'm starting off with the e-file at 12,000 RPMs and I'm going to quickly trim them down. Now I would like to mention that typically when I have my toenails with any type of enhancement, I trim them as the time goes by because if you didn't know, the thicker the product on your nail, the more uncomfortable it gets with closed toed shoes. And so I like to just keep them short, even if I'm not gonna do a fill on them or anything like that. I try to keep them as short as possible so that they still look somewhat decent. And I, again, just disregarded that for the purpose of the video and show you guys pretty much how I trim them down using my e-file. And now we're gonna be going in with the same bit. This bit actually came with the e-file. It is a safety bit, not quite sure. I don't remember what grit it is but it is a carbide bit. Safety bit means it has like the rounded safety portion at the tip, so I can get pretty close to my skin and I will not hurt myself. So this process that I'm pretty much doing is going to be removing the majority of that product down nice and thin. I had someone request for me to show the entire process, so I figured I would just go ahead and try to remove as much as the product as I can since I haven't removed this product in a very long time. And I just wanted to make sure that the integrity of my natural nail underneath was in perfect condition. I get very scared that even though I don't have lifting, I somehow feel that maybe I missed something in a different fill and since moisture just gets super trapped in your toenails, I just get scared. So I figured I would just go ahead and fully remove it, make sure everything is good, and then we would go from there. Now, do note that when you're doing this on yourself, be extra careful while doing this process. It can get a little tricky. You can see how my e-file kind of jumped at one point right there. And it's just honestly terrifying because it is not the same process doing it on yourself than on somebody else. You can have a better view of it. You have better grasp, a different completely way of doing it on somebody else than on yourself. So always be super cautious, work slowly, take your time while doing anything with an e-file on your toes and that will do wonders. I promise you, it doesn't matter if it takes you forever, as long as you're doing it nicely and you don't hurt yourself is all that matters, especially when working on a client as well. Toes I feel like are very, very sensitive. I know for myself, my natural nail on my toes, they are super, super sensitive, so. Again, focusing on thinning out that product, I am leaving a little bit on my nail just because I get super scared to overfile. And then once I go in with my mandrel bit, I'll be able to remove the excess. So I'm going in now with my mandrel bit, also from Profiles Backstage. I'm using a medium grit sanding band. These are the green ones. They also have them available in purple, just in case y'all like purple better. But I absolutely love these. They are really fine. So. I feel like you can't really do damage on the nail unless you like really, really press it in and you're not being careful. But since it's so fine, medium grit works perfectly. So at this point, I'm buffing off the shine from my toenails. And then I'm also trying to remove any extra gel that I have left on my toenails. Again, as best as possible. I have a little bit of pink peeping through from the previous product that I also used on my toenails. So disregard that. And then again, we're gonna continue to do that until we have that shine off and then we have the majority of that product off. 
Little spoiler, we are doing builder gel toenails. I did a video on my TikTok and I got so much feedback on it. People loved it and I had somebody actually request a more in-depth video. So reason why I'm doing the entire backfill, removing the majority of the product so I can show the entire process of me doing this type of service on myself. So if it was you, this one goes for you, girl. Now, once I finish removing that shine off of my natural nail, I'm going to be going in with this diamond bit also from Profiles Backstage. It's a nice tiny tapered one, which will help to get into those hard to reach areas like I'm doing right now around that cuticle. It is really, really necessary that y'all try to implement this in your process. This is gonna help with adhesion. So first comes the buffing of the nail, which I did with the mandrel bit. And then you're gonna focus on that cuticle area using this bit. And then lastly, we're gonna remove that dead skin from our cuticle area and around the toenails just I did go a little in depth with my pinky toe because that one's the one that struggles all the time y'all saw how much crust was on there at the beginning of the video if you didn't definitely go watch it it is disgusting and it always is my problem toe so I went in with scissors and just nipped off the excess dead skin it just grosses me out so I need it off and then I'm gonna be going in with that cuticle work with the ball bit also from profiles backstage this one is bigger than the one that i use on nails so the one that i use here on my toes i just like it to be thicker because that way you can go on all of the dry spots that you have on your feet and it just works lovely it softens everything up removes that excess dryness and crustiness and it just looks so good so i'm gonna go ahead and just go pretty much around the entire nail on my skin and then kind of just buff that off and make everything super, super smooth and clean. Now it did totally slip my mind, but all of my prep process, so with my mandrel bit, my diamond bit, and this bit that I'm using right now, always lower your speed of your e-file to four to 5,000 RPMs. I would definitely not recommend you to go any higher than that. Otherwise, it could be a disaster. But now I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. If you are new to doing nails, you can always use a little bit of alcohol, acetone. This pretty much just works to clean the excess dust and dehydrate that nail. You can also use a dehydrator, but this is kind of like a two-in-one, so I just get it done all in one motion versus cleaning and then going in with the dehydrator. I do both at the same time. Now I'm going in with a rubber base. This is my primer for my toes or gel products in general. A rubber base is gonna help with that adhesion. So this is a gel product, meaning you need to cure it in the light. So we're gonna add a thin layer of that, trying to get as close as that cuticle and those sidewalls as possible. And again, very thin layer, and then we're gonna be popping that in the light for a full 60 seconds. Now, once that is fully cured, I'm gonna be taking my gel of choice. I'm actually using the Control Natural White Accents Gel from Profiles Backstage. I have been loving this gel specifically because it's like an off-white, like milky type of white color. It's not like a super bright white. And I just love that for summer. And honestly, like all year round, my toes being white just makes everything look so good. So I'm starting off with a thin layer. I figured I would mess around with my process. Definitely don't need that. You don't need to add a thin layer like I did. It honestly just made it a little bit more complicated. I would just go in with bulk product like I'm gonna be doing on the rest of the toes. So you could totally try this process out, but I definitely don't think it is necessary at all whatsoever. You could just go in with a big chunk of it and start from the cuticle area and start wiggling it down towards the tip of your toe. Now, if you are doing this application on another person, it would be a lot easier because you could just hold the toe downwards. But since I'm doing it on myself, I pretty much have to like hold it upwards and be extra careful with that cuticle area. So if you are doing your own toes, be extra, extra careful. Once that gel overflows into your cuticle area, 
you just gotta wipe it off and start all over because it will continue to go no matter how much you wipe it off there's always going to be a super thin layer left behind and it just causes like a rainfall of you know effect where it just continues to flow into that area no matter how much you try cleaning it so always be extra careful and again if you mess up just wipe it all the way off and start all over it won't hurt anything i know it can be a little bit annoying but i'd rather just get it all and then not have to like keep wiping now i am taking a liner brush this one is from vita bella this is the short liner from them and we're going to be going in and cleaning up those little hard to reach areas so i'm essentially just using the gel that's already on my toes and then kind of wiggling it into those little crevices so that the whole nail can be fully covered and then i'm also fixing any little areas so the trickiest toe to do is always going to be the big toe i feel like i always struggle and overthink that one because you do have to use so much product but you can always do multiple layers if you feel like that is a better process for you I always just try to do it all in one go and I actually did it on my left foot like that and it worked so good. So a lot of the time, don't overthink it, just go for it. So now that it is nicely applied, curing that in the light for a full 60 seconds and I'm gonna be doing that toe by toe. So here I got a good amount of that builder gel and I'm going to again, kind of just bounce it up and uh, down and to the right to the left to the left to the right kind of just wiggling it back and forth until i get the majority of the toenail fully covered and then that's when i go in with my liner brush you can use pretty much any brush of your choice but i'm going to be using again like the vita bella one like i mentioned earlier and all you're doing is guiding that gel into those areas that you missed with your initial application and especially in that cuticle area, this process is a lot easier if you do it this way versus having the big chunk of gel and trying to get that all the way up there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that on the rest of my toes. I did wanna talk a little bit about that e-file because I am obsessed and I feel like this is gonna be my new go-to at my house. So this e-file goes up to 35,000 RPMs. That is pretty freaking powerful. And I feel like the majority of e-files should go up to 35,000 if they don't already. I know a lot of people do use their e-file at a very high speed. I did notice that when I put my e-file at 4,000 RPMs, which is what I typically use for my prep, it was pretty strong. So I actually knocked it down to 3,000 RPMs. And I still felt like it was a little strong. It didn't go any lower than that because it was working just fine, but... I feel like this e-file is extremely powerful, which is a good thing, especially if you're doing removals like I typically do. It is portable, so you can charge it and then unplug it and you're good to go. And the cool feature about it, which honestly had me very intrigued, is the fact that you can actually pause the speed. So you could set it at the speed of your choice. Say I want 7,000 RPMs, I can put it at 7,000 RPMs and then I need to reach for something or I need to change the bit out really quickly but I don't wanna have to turn it back on. You just click the button and it pauses it. And then you press it again, like play, and then it starts all over again at the same speed that you already had it, which I was like, this is awesome. It also has reverse and forward, you know, typical kind of e-file things. Um, but I really like it. It's very, very portable. It's super tiny, very powerful. So definitely check them out. Profiles backstage. And don't forget to use my discount code if y'all want to save a little bit of money and support your girl. But that pretty much is it on it. Let me know if you all have any questions. I definitely really love it. And I will be sharing more videos with it. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth video on e-filing, definitely let me know down below as well. Now that I have all that gel applied on my toenails, we're gonna pop that back into the light for another 60 seconds. Always, always, always make sure you cure as you go if you need it. Don't be shy, don't be scared. I feel like it's better to be safe than sorry. Now I'm gonna be taking a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe once again. We're gonna cleanse my toes because it does have a slight tacky layer and I wanna make sure I remove that before I go into file. Same e-file, I do have it at about 8,000 RPMs and then I'm using that same bit. I'm simply going around that cuticle area just to try to like blend it in a little bit and honestly not filing a lot 
at all whatsoever because I did try to apply it nice and thin in that area. And then I'm gonna be taking my hand file. This is a Tammy Taylor peel and stick file. And I'm gonna be filing the surface. I decided to go with my hand file for this process because again, the product files off very, very quickly. And I get really scared that I'm not gonna have the best control of my hand piece. And then I'm gonna end up filing off too much and I'm gonna have to reapply. So to be safe, I'm just using my hand file. Also forgot to mention that the dust collector is from Kiara Sky. This thing is bomb. I know a lot of you guys, for whatever reason, do not have the best experience with Kiara Sky, but I absolutely adore this thing. And every time I use it at my house, I'm like, I need to take it to the salon. So do note that I will absolutely take it to my salon so that I can use it on my client. I realized that every time that I was dusting off the excess dust from my toes, it wasn't getting on my e-file, which was directly next to my dust collector, which has never happened before with any dust collector that I have ever used. So that alone had me very, very excited and made me really want to take it to work with me so that I can use it in the actual salon setting. And so I'm going to go ahead and continue to file that surface very, very quickly. Be careful with your skin. It can get a little tricky sometimes. And then we're gonna quickly go in with the same hand file and file the tip of the toenail to make sure that everything is super crisp. I love my toenails to be very, very square. It just makes my life so happy to look down at my toes and see them shaped very beautifully. <laughs> and square just does that for me. So we're just squaring that off nicely and making sure that it is super crisp. And I do have some of my toenails kind of curve out a little bit. So I went ahead and removed that as well at some point during this process. So I made sure that they were kind of all pretty shaped simil similarly. And then we're going to clean that off once again. Again, lint-free wipe, a little bit of young nail swipe. And then I realized that I didn't do my typical process. So disregard that. And we're going to go back in with my mandrel bit and sanding band e-file at 8,000 RPMs. And I'm actually going to be going back in and filing over what I already filed with it. Because sometimes I feel like the tip of my toenail can be a little bit thick. So I'm just taking my e-file to quickly make that thinner right underneath my nail. And it just makes such a huge difference. Like sometimes I feel like I can see my toenail underneath and I just take that, file it a little bit, especially right there, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then I also didn't buff my toenail, so I went ahead and just did that since I already had dust everywhere. This little buffer is from Not Polish. They are so cute. And I love that they're just so tiny, so it makes you feel less bad that you have to throw them away after each service. So always a good thing to have smaller products for one-time use products. Cleaning once again with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of young nail swipe. Again, you can always use alcohol. And then we're gonna be top coating these toenails. Definitely do not recommend using any type of matte on toenails. I've tried it before. It looked so good the first two seconds and then it just did not look cute. So I'm gonna be using Gloss It from Not Polish. But another really good alternative is the stain resistant top coat from Young Nails. I typically use that, but I took it to the salon so I don't have it here at my house. That stuff is so good for white toes. It keeps it so sparkly white and you don't have to worry about them getting dingy or yellow or anything like that. Popping that in the light for a full 60 seconds. I'm adding some cuticle oil from my collab with Profiles Backstage, but that pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what y'all think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton, and I'll see you guys next time.